Hey everybody, welcome back to the range. Got another armor test for you today. That's why a lot of you tune in because I'm always coming up with cool things to test armor for. So today I've got an AR500 armor, level three plus. This is a Gen 2 advanced shooter's cut, 10 by 12 with the buildup coat. It's around 60 degrees outside today. This plate is at ambient temperatures. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna see how cold weather affects steel body armor. So the plan is we're gonna strap the ambient temperature plate to our clay briefcase at 45 feet. We have the chronograph reading for velocities. If not, we can go off some prior averages. We'll take three shots of 5.56 out of the 16 inch barrel and we'll take three shots of M80 ball out of the 22 inch M1A. We'll see how the ambient temperature plate reacts and then I will set up a plate that has been cooling in a thermotron for approximately almost 48 hours at negative 60 degrees Celsius. I'll transport the plate down here. I have a cooler full of dry ice. We may lose you know, a few degrees on the plate as it gets down here, but we'll get it set up as fast as possible. And we'll repeat the same test, three shots with 5.56 and three shots with the 308. What we're looking for is to see how extreme cold weather affects steel. Some online reading says that steel structurally becomes brittle at negative 40 degrees Celsius and is not really recommended for structures below negative 20 degrees Celsius, but nothing really on body armor in extreme cold weather. So we're gonna see what the steel is gonna do. So let's get our range set up and we'll take those shots. So the ammunition that we're gonna use for today is some IMI M193 and some ZQI M80 ball in the 308. We'll grab three shots first with the 5.56. Five, Velocity was 31.29. 31.59 again. And now we'll grab the three shots from the 308. Twenty-eight twenty-four. Twenty-eight twelve. Twenty-eight twelve again. So let's go see what the plated ambient did. So here's our plate, shot one, two, and three with a 5.56, five, shot one, two, and three with a 308. As you can see, there are no pass-throughs. AR500 Armor's level three plus plate is one tough cookie. On the back side, there's maybe a slight indication of a bulge there, little, little dimple down here, but this plate, still good. So now that we saw what the plate will do at ambient, Let's go grab the super cold plate and see what's gonna happen. So we have our 10 by 12 advanced shooters cut, level three plus plate from AR500 in our Thermotron. We have our plate in there and we have a set point for negative 60 degrees Celsius. And we'll check back in a few days for our test. in there for a little over 24 hours. All right, everybody. I'm back in my secret laboratory. Only TSA operators like Matt V2099 knows its exact location. Our AR500 armor plate has been cooling at negative 60 degrees Celsius, which is negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit, for a little over 40 four hours. 
Didn't quite make it to 48, but that was a max that I had there. Our transport vessel today will be this cooler that I filled with dry ice, placed next to it, and I got a few minutes to drive to the range. This should keep it cool enough that we can see the effects at sub-zero temperatures. So we'll stop our test. And we'll get some gloves on and get this plate out. All right, so we're back at the range with our transport vessel. Let's pull the plate out of here. Temperature is still... Negative 15. Okay. We'll put it here. We're gonna use this to mark our spots. We'll take the first three shots again with a 5.56. We'll try for the same kind of general area of the plate. Thirty-one fifty-two. Thirty-one thirty-seven. Thirty-one eighty-two. Now with the three oh eight. Twenty-seven sixty-six. Twenty-seven eighty-three. Here's our plate. We are still, after shooting it, negative 23 degrees. I'm sure these hitting it warmed it up a little bit. As you can see, our spall coating is in tons of little pieces. This plate's amazing. We cooled it for two days to almost negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. We brought it out here in a cooler. It lost a few degrees on the way here. Set it up, immediately shot it and it stopped those same six threats. While we got the cold plate up there, let's see if we can get it to fail. I load up six more rounds of 308 and six more rounds of 556 and we'll just pelt it a few times and see what's gonna happen. Thirty-one sixty-seven. Thirty-one sixty-seven again. And get it, or 3212, 3144, 3197, 3167, 2836, 2807, and we lost our strap. There you have it, folks. Extreme cold weather demonstration of the AR500 Armor Level 3 Plus steel body armor plate. Being frozen at negative 60 degrees Celsius for two days, no effect on the steel. Took those six shots of the 308 and the 556 together, plus many more of the 308 and 556 before the temperatures rose on the plate. No penetration. I would have no issues with throwing a plate carrier with plates in my car overnight in most normal cold weather situations, you know, when it's 30, 20 degrees outside. You should have no issues with that. I am kind of interested to see how composite and ceramic plates would hold up in cold temperatures. As always, I want to thank AR500 Armor for providing these plates for us to do these demonstrations for. And I want to thank all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Until next time, everybody, take it easy.